so, um, the first four episodes, I think they've been very, very good. A, a learning curve, I would say. Nothing apart from that. We're not going to speak about results, anything. We're just going to jump into today. Not going to put the spoiler in there, but really wanting a win. Yes, guys, welcome back to episode number five. Going to be on two hands next time of season. Number one of this Grimsby to Glory FIFA 23 career mode save. Of course, our first save here on the new next-gen FIFA console. PS5, PS5, if you didn't know. I think I put it in the title of this one. Anyway, moving straight into today. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, there's a big spoiler on screen. Don't look. Shut your eyes. Whatever device you're on, click off of the video, go on to the other ones, come back, and of course, if you've enjoyed them all and seen them all, hopefully you subscribe to the channel as we are on the race to 8,000 subscribers at the moment, and we are literally sprinting there at the moment with the uh, pace that we're growing. As you can see, the club is not growing. We are rock bottom of the EFL. Zero wins, six draws, and six defeats. There definitely is some harshly done scores in there as if you haven't seen the previous ones spoiling them getting the calendar up as i know for a fact we should have beaten northampton a draw against newport two draws this month um crew was very unlucky there in that simulation crawley town should not have beaten us we should have beaten hartlepool as well and we should have beaten something literally i'm not even just saying that we should have hammered teams in this save but we sat here with zero wins as Harrogate Town away from home's the first game. I'm going to play that one. Harrogate's actually closer to me than actually Grimsby are, which is amazing. As Stevenage after that one, Rochdale, which I think is going to be played away from home. Got the win in real life right there. As Stockport in the Papa John's is a simulation. And Mansfield's going to be a good game. There always is good games against Grimsby and Mansfield. So looking forward to that one. Beat them in real life as well. And then going into this first game. I wonder if the players are still out on international duty. As two player chats. It looks like they're back. Max Crocker wants to be in the team. You'll get your chance. And Alex Hunt saying is 100% recovered from an injury. Hoping he might find a place in the team. I'll say don't rush yourself. Which has made him unhappy. But I might stick him on the bench as, yeah, Batters busy in goal, isn't he? And Sean Pearson is the backup keeper for now. Definitely won't be, as we'll swap that around. Sorry, Super Dan, you might be dropped out. Or do we drop him out? I mean, Glenno's a very strong character, isn't he? Hard to drop him out. And Efferty does possess that pace. I think I might go with Mitch Efferty. Five-star weak foot as well. Don't know how that's happened as Hunt can come on the bench for... Sorry, Kike Simmons, but I'm going to put Peppel and Orsi on. As the main team is Crockham in goal, we've got Kirwan, both of them back from New Zealand duty. Meyer, Dolan and Glenno at the back with Clifton, Morris and Hulahan dropping into the McAtee role, which is going to be difficult for him, but John McAtee injured. Same with Maguire Drew as Khan's on the wing. Kiernan is on the other wing and Richardson stays up front to... Is the one scoring goals for us when we do score goals, but still should have a lot more as we're away against Harrogate first up. And Harrogate's team, Mark Oxley in goal, Kane Rams is a good player, Lewis Richardson, Will Smith, not the actor, uh, Warren Burrell, Jaheim Headley, Josh Austerfield, and Matt Daly in the midfield with Thompson, Grant and Armstrong. So come on you mighty Mariners, let's get off to a good start in this episode, shall we? Pick up some wins. As Otis can. I don't know why Bryn Morris is further back than Niall Mayer, who's now on the ball. He'll just go out wide straight into Kirwan. Just slowly build up. I mean, we should have some pace on Harrogate. They haven't got the highest rated players in FIFA, so hopefully that might give us an advantage. No, as they're coming forward a little bit here. Dolan out of position. Neil Mayer with a good challenge. Still back to them in the middle. Kane Ramsey, the right back. Trying to run past Clifton, and that's an easy ball squeezed through. Dolan does read that one though as that was an off pass but it has reached uh, Brim Morris as we've got a bit of a run in, in front of us right here. Houlihan fits it through and I think that's a bad tackle on Richardson who stayed down injured. How did we get nothing for it? A disgraceful decision from the referees. We're going to get Danilo Orsion who will be playing his former club. Him and Kiernan both taking spells at Harrogate. So that's a terrible ball. An actual terrible ball as it look like the through here. Matty Dolan, wrong side of Armstrong. Neil Meyer coming across. Armstrong gets his shot off and Crockham with the save. 
Harry got to pull the trigger first as we still look for this elusive win as the ball are with it whipped in. Orsi now on the field for Richardson. That's a good cross. Meyer with the header away. Still not cleared. And we managed to block it. Still not away from Brim Morris. They've shoved us over in the box. Nothing given. As still we try and fight it away. No defence for us. Defenders as... I have no idea how they've managed to get a shot off through all that. How can we not clear the ball? As now it will be delivered again. Near post. Gleno with the head away. Finally a little bit of an escape. As here's Morris. He gives it into Gavin Houlihan. Orsi trying to make a move forward. Opted for Otis Khan on this wing instead. As now we'll go into Houlihan. Here is Danilo Orsi. Side steps to one side. Harry Clifton's here. Kiernan is at the side of him. We've got Orsi trying to get in the middle. Who might get this header. Defender gets it away. Will Smith out, in fact, as Khan needs to be on side, and he is. Kirwan, good bit of threat right here. Morris takes it well. That's a cross towards the back post. And that was a shot from Kiernan. No idea how he's put it across net. Dolan through the middle onto Kiernan. As here's Harry Clifton through the middle. Bryn Morris into Otis Khan. Otis Khan just back heels that. Try and get it back round as we do. Chance to deliver it. It's a good ball, you know, but no one waiting. As it falls here to Harry Clifton to strike it. Just before half time. I thought I'd go for it. Just wide. Nil-nil. As there's a ball on here to... I think this is Grant as he's trying to run round us a little bit, the number nine. Puts it back out to his winger. Neil Meyer putting the pressure on his back. Still can't get that tackle in. We can't let that ball go through like that. Crockham with the save. Get rid of it. Nice Harry on the hour mark. I think I might make some changes. Don't really know which changes to make, though. Brim Morris hasn't had the best of games, so I'll put Hunt on. He wanted that chance. And I'll take Khan off, because he does seem like he's not up with it for pace. Never really threatening us as Hunt into Harry. Now on to Danilo Orsi. Here's Gavin Houlihan with a turn. Finds Bim Peppel out wide. He needs that overlap, Kirwan. Give him it. Come on. Overlap. There we go. That's a good one. Chance to whip a ball in. Orsi's peeled off. Gets his chest down. Can put his foot through this. It's blocked and the keeper was sent. Harry's got to get there. And a ball across the field as Harry Clifton's intercepted this one. Danilo Orsi trying to run in behind. That needed to be a better pass. Houlihan to pick up on it. That's a good ball through to Bim Peppel, you know. On an angle. Peppel! What a save from Oxley. That could have been the win again. We're getting late chances in games to take all the points and not taking the chances. However, a brilliant tackle from Hunt. Passing it back into Harry. It's gone to Houlihan. Oh, and he can't turn out. Yet again, another chance with the ball at his feet. As now Harry are going to get away. This is the only team close to us in the league, we can't forget. So this is a big chance wasted if we don't pick up the result as Mayer out of position. It could be worse than a draw. We've got to defend this. I mean... No, the whistle's gone. It's another draw. Oh, we needed the result there. I mean, when will that winning feeling come to Blundell Park? As we're getting asked about um, Andy Smith's appearances and Bim Peppel's. To be fair, I am putting Dolan at the back because of the captain's here, but he's not playing particularly well. He hasn't come in and transformed the team. But then again, we just, just did keep clean sheet. I am thinking about Peppel, though, and you can see he is in the lineup as we're going to simulate against um, Stevenage. We're going to play against Rochdale and Mansfield, which are closer games, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, as can we get his first win here in a simulation? I think if we get one win, we might get on a bit of a run, as we do! Finally, we have won a game. It's a 3-2 win at Blundell Park, and it looks an exciting one. Norris missed a penalty. Bim Peppel scores on his start. Elliot List gets one back. Kanan makes it 2-1, and then 2-2. You must have thought this is going to be a bad day. But Gavin Houlihan in the McAtee role wins us a game. That winning feeling as he's gone operating as well. As I also forgot to mention, I put Dan Cox on the bench just to see if he got some experience and must have been quite decent for him. Let's look at all these players still in the reserves. They need a bit of game time, but the squad's going good. Two games in. They are still rooted bottom. Level with Gillingham now as I feel a little bit better though. Rochdale just above us by a point. So a win here would see us go above them and finally try and get the ball rolling as Kika Simmons uh, or Kendrea, but call him Kika, I think, or Kea, I don't know. He's been asked about his game time from Birmingham City. I'm going to see how much it could cost to actually send him back. No offence to him, but I just don't think he's 
gonna get the game time. He is a young player not playing as one I have just seen that could play Reggie Stone. I've just changed his position. You can see he's gone from 47 rated to 65 rated. What a name he has as well. Let's have a look at his um, stats. They look good. Yeah, he was a centre back. He was a centre back and we've changed him round. He's 17 year old. Get him in the first team. We are going to send Simmons back as I think that is a perfect player to replace him with. Don't see it being too expensive as can we terminate the loan? 2.6 grand. I know it's out of the budget, but that is fine. At least they won't carry on to us. At least we can get Reggie Stone in the squad and not change too much around us. It's got a crucial role. He looks fantastic. What a good feeling it is to get that win under his belt, as I think I am going to take him to Rochdale. A lot of scout reports coming in. I'm still looking at January, although we found this gem and got a win. Still in a bit of a rut. We cannot ignore that, so... The team is roughly the same. You can see Pepple's very tired, so I'm switching with Orsi, but completely the same. It's hard to put Reggie Stone straight in again when Houlihan has just scored the winner in the only game we've won all season in the league. So he will stay in for now. Sure, Reggie will come on off the bench, but that's the team for Rochdale. Kieran Slicker, Femi Sariki, Ebax Laniel, Graham Nelson Ado. Diaguara, who's a good player, Kelly, Brearley, Chapman and Devante Rodney make up the Dale team away from home. And it's a bit of a bigger stadium is Dale's, which, no offence to any Dale fans, but I don't see as fully realistic. I mean, I watched the game against Dale in real life for Grimsby and it, it was a nice one, but I prefer my Blundell Park. Of course, I'll say that there was... Harry Clifton back in the black and white straps, uh, straps, stripes, as Clifton with a shot from range, testing the keeper. We're coming forward now, Adele. We need to keep this form going. Rodney with a good shot, some step overs in that one, and a tester for Max Crockham. I really do feel, and I've got to make sure I get this across to the team, that one win is all that it takes to spark us to a bit of form, and I'm hoping that is the case, as Rochdale starting well, but putting it out. We'll take that, though, as here is... Danilo Orsi starting up front because of Pepple's tiredness despite the goal. He can definitely come on later though if we are struggling as here's Gleno down the line. Gleno finds a ball into Gavin Houlihan who can't put that round the side. He needs a big performance to stay in this team although scoring. Reggie Stone's on his back as Clifton. Houlihan's in fact making a run and he'll get the ball over the top. Beautiful ball off the post from Houlihan. What a chance to take the lead. What a ball from Harry, by the way, but oh my days, what a miss. What a miss off the post. There's another run through here. Danilo Orsi finds Otis Khan. He's got Houlihan alongside him and the pass is intercepted. We are definitely playing with more about us, though, as that's a ball in the middle. They've got a run through and Neil Mayo with a really good read right there as Clifton into Kiernan. Danilo Orsi goes into the middle. Pressure on Morris. Not a great pass, but we've won it back. And Orsi to feed it through to Otis Khan. He's got no one really in the middle, so we'll check back. Still, I can't believe it's nil-nil. What a chance we've had. Or two, as Harry Clifton on the edge. He'll try and strike one. Hits his man. We're absolutely dominant in this one as a ball. Checked back in the middle. And Crockham with a big save. Rodney is that man. If Rochdale are going to threaten... He's going to score, but a big save from our number one. As that's a good ball into the box. A brilliant header away as Gleno needs to get rid of that. Runs straight through a brick wall to keep hold of this one. And he'll cut back inside. Look at Houlihan on the run. Not a great ball, though, from Bryn. Houlihan to put the pressure on. But at halftime, nil-nil. We've done well. Just no goal. To be fair, when you look at his league form, six defeats isn't too bad. It's the seven draws that we're looking at. If we turn them into wins, which a lot of them should be, We'd be higher up. I think we'd be near the playoffs, to be fair, as Otis Khan keeps this ball. We need to make sure this isn't a draw. There's a good one down the line from Kirwan to dink one in towards Clifton. It's fallen to Kiernan, who couldn't score it. Very unlucky as we're going to try and get Reggie Stone on and Bim Pepple. Change it up. Just freshen it up, which I think could be really good as Houlihan keeping this ball here. Into Harry. Men backing off and it's off the crossbar from Clifton. The goalkeeper's only punched it though and Otis Khan to get underneath it and put it wide. Big chances. Seriously, so unlucky as they're coming forward now, Rochdale. They cannot steal this game. Gleno, not a great challenge at all. You already knew that we're going to get blown. There's now a free kick for Kelly. 
to just dink in. Headed away from Bryn Morris. Important header. Put that pressure on Glenna. Win that as that's a brilliant ball through. A cut inside. Rodney with a chance and Crockham with a big save. I think the defender did have it covered. I think it was Dolan sliding in. Big chance. But we've avoided the attack. As look at Reggie Stone running through. Bim Pepple looking for him. He's not a provider, really. Wasn't a great ball up as Devante Rodney finds a ball through, though. Onto the number nine. He's bursted through with pace. Dale take the lead. Can you believe it? We have been all over them. It's just a chance like that when it comes for Luke Chairman. Runs straight through the middle. Easy finish past Crockham. Defence woeful. Puts us in desperate need of a goal now as a bad tackle on Harry, but literally nothing given. No advantage. That's another bad challenge. Referee is even injured Pepple from it. That's going to be his fourth injury now. We're going to have to get Bim Pepple off, aren't we? Is he badly? Or no, he's actually not. He must have just stayed down a little bit as we'll pass this short into Niall Mayer. We really need to make something happen happen should I say as I was looking for Bim couldn't get it to him really attacking as well as they've got a bit of a gap and it's Kieran Green running after Campbell here he's going out wide he's going towards the corner flag in fact I mean come on mate it's it's a game as now we need to try and get a tackle in here they've still got past us they could just score another goal really couldn't they but no they're passing it around a bit too much around the corner though and in at the near post for two, Dale just take the lead. Honestly, it's such a winnable game, this one, and we've just managed to bottle it. We have just given them the win. We've just been awful. Should I say we haven't been? We've been brilliant. We just cannot score in a game of football. Now, after winning a game, we're going to go on to a little bit of a bad run because we don't take us chances and don't take the momentum as they've run past us right here and put a ball across. Really poor as here's Reggie Stone. Looking to try and make things happen. It's a good dribble, in fact. Out to Otis Khan. Reggie Stone continuing that run. Khan with a terrible pass. Still, it's found its way through, though. Bim Pepple across the box. Here's Harry. Or Green, should I say. Back of the net. Skip it. Kieran Green has a goal for the Mariners, but it's not enough after that second one we conceded. It will not be enough. We're scoring goals, but not winning. As the final whistle goes, and that's a horrific de defeat. I mean... Diabolical is the word that comes to mind. That was a game easily winnable, but we've lost it away from home. That result really hurt us, as what even hurts even more is Kiernan's loan set to expire very soon, which will leave us out with a winger missing. Just what we need as we're going into Stockport County in the cup. You can see right there, a massively changed team. Um, Pearson captain Efferty, Bramwell's in, Braithway, Orsi and Cox are on the wings. Taylor's up front, Hunt, Wern, Amos, Battersby. I think I went through the whole team right there. For Stockport, away, Papa John's Trophy. Again, I'm focused on the league, even though we can't win in it fully. We're going to quick sim this one. And what's the result going to be against Stockport? It's going to be a 2-2 draw. Not the worst. Has Taylor got a goal? Kyle Wotton, then Bim Pepple, just cancelled out by Paddy Madden. Unlucky not to win, but we've got a league game less than three days after us, Danilo Orsi. Can do even better, mate. You need to improve a little bit as Kiernan. I have to rotate the squad. As here is the team for Mansfield. International duties force Battersby and Efferty into the team. And Smith will jump in, because Matty Dolan brought him in to be the leader. He's, he's been a leader with the armband, but he's not been too cracking defensively. So, I've given it to Bryn Morris, although there's one team player in it. It's Kiernan. He's leaving soon, so I'm going to give it Bryn. Experienced head in the middle as Reggie Stone starts. Bim Pepple starts as well. Taylor now on the bench. Orsi, Danny Amos, and of course, Sean Pearson's going to have to be backup goalkeeper if Battersby does get an injury. As Mansfield doing well. We're still bottom by a point now. Let's get a second win. No more messing about. Let's go. Come on, lads. Back at Blundell Park. Let's get a win under his belt. Chrissy Pym in goal. Kellen Gordon, Elliot Hewitt, X Grimsby, Oliver Hawkins, John Joe O'Tootle, or Tool, Stephen McLaughlin, George Maris, a good player, with Quinn, the captain, and Nicky Law. Or maybe not Nicky Law, but Law. George Law. I don't know. Atkins. And Gale, a very solid outfit, a good team, but they're not up there with the playoffs. So, I mean, we, wherever a team is, we have faith we can beat them, even though we've only got one win. I've got faith we can do it against anyone, as that's a good ball onto the striker. Atkins, he finds Maris running through. Efferty left one-on-one -on -one and does it very, very well. As Smith 
Coming to get a tackle in and completely avoiding his man as Harry Clifton's got the cover. Come on, we're going to be better defensively than Rochdale, definitely. There's Niall Mayer with the ball around the corner into Bryn Morris right here. Mitchie Efferte steps back and gives it into Mayer. Now Bryn Morris. That's an easy ball through to Bim Peppel. Missing out Reggie Stone, who's now got it. Peppel almost making a good run. Otis Khan, though, against his former club, making a decent little run down this wing. He'll still keep the ball and go back on himself a little bit. Through the middle onto Bryn Morris. Now Peppel. Harry Clifton's making a run around. Keenan was edging it as Bryn Morris can always hit one. Good save. We really need to be better. Come on, this is not us. McLaughlin. Just got their effort in and he manages to clear it away. It's been Mansfield mostly on this one, but still. Possession really doesn't mean much in games. and chances. It's about who takes them, I've learned. As I thought the flag was going up, it isn't. Reggie Stone still on side. Bin Peppel just getting towards the middle. And the defender with the acrobatics has Bryn Morris to keep this alive. Straight down. Keenan into Harry Clifton. Strikes at the defender. Harry Clifton still going and is that a corner? I think it is. Corner ball here for the Mariners. This is more like it. We'll whip it in near post. Otis Khan. Brennan just underneath it but it won't fall to him. Instead it goes to Clifton on the edge. Come on. We'll finish this half strongly, shall we? It's out to Otis Khan, whipping one in towards Reggie Stone. Bryn Morris, it falls to Bim Peppel with the turn away and gets his shot off and a brilliant save, Chrissy Pim. Brilliant save. All us at the end of this half. We're going to whip it in again near post. Meyer arriving. That's just hitting the crossbar. And going over again. Come on, this is more like it. In front of the home fans. We need this win. Neil Meyer jumping up. It'll fall to Kiernan. Back out wide. Chance to whip it in again towards Bryn Morris. Bin Peppel, can we get there, please? We do, but the referee blows that whistle. Good end to the half. We continue with it. Very happy with how we're ending that as a ball through. Mansfield are going to try and get themselves back in it, but that team talk from me. Just keep it up, as that's a good ball towards Kanan. A foul on us somehow. I mean, I don't get that one, really, as that was a dodgy pass. And a dodgy pass from Smith at the back. Smudge. Not playing great in this career mode. And he's just hitting a bit of a rut as this is going to go out wide. Glenno needs to get across to Gordon, one of the wing backs. Just make sure he can't cross this. But he does get his pass inside. Not great from Glenno. Hits the man in the box who cannot control it. And will pass this away. Harry Clifton straight into Bim Peppel. Now on to Reggie Stone who keeps the ball very well. Otis Khan making a running behind. It's a brilliant pass from Reggie Stone into the winger. Here's Khan. I'm just going to try and run this. Dink it in last minute. No one really there, but we'll find Bim. We've got a man through the middle. How is that not going to Clifton? He's got to be on that a bit more. Such an easy read as Bim Peppel again. Look at Khan with this run as that's a good chest down. He's got a man in the middle. It's Brennan Keenan. Wide. And two changes as um, Danilo Orsion for Bim Peppel. And we've gone ahead and put Gavin Houlihan on for Harry Clifton as they've got the ball in the middle of the park. Just get this press on. As they've easily passed away from us a little bit here. It's in there and it's going over the top. Mitch Efte with a read. Back into young goalkeeper Ollie Battersby who deals with it well to be fair to him. Not really experienced but not really tested to be fair in this game. As that's a horrific pass from the man just off the bench Gavin Houlihan. Do not put all this hard work down to nothing. A shot on Battersby with the save. Very nicely done from the youngster as Danilo Orsi. Gets that into Kiernan. Get on your bike right here. He's got to beat Gordon, who is tired in this game. And he cuts inside of him. Finds a pass into Reggie Stone. Ready to shoot and clipped. But again, nothing given. Never get anything. As that's a ball straight in the middle to us again, though. Danilo Orsi. Look at this run through the middle of Brennan Kiernan. We're going to get this power shot going. And it's blocked last minute. Of course it is. Of course. There's a corner ball here. It's going to be Khan to whip it in towards Danilo Orsi. Who's trying to get underneath it. Headed only as far as Brennan Kiernan. Put that in the middle. Gavin Houlihan. It sits up for blocked. Efforty tries to get the header down. And I really think we've been the better side in this game. We deserve this win. As a run through the middle. A run round the outside. I thought that was in the back of the net. I really, really did. As it looks like it's just destined for another draw. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. As that's a header down. Off the line from Gleno. Oh, I thought we'd lost it again, but Anthony Glennon on the line. Another whipped in ball. Head this away, Smudge. Not a great header. It falls to O'Tootle. There we go. There we go. 
it wouldn't be us without conceding in the 92nd minute after dominating the game. That's just us to a T. It's just woeful defending. It really is. We cannot get rid of it. Neil Mayer with the mistake. And Smudge doesn't put a tackle in. 1-0 lost to Mansfield. I don't know what more I can say about that game apart from... We need players back from injury. We need to just try and build on one win that we have all season. Still stay rock bottom of League Two. At least we had a little glimpse of that winning feeling. 10 points from 16 games so far in this save. That is just horrendous, isn't it? I mean, we cannot lie. Uh, playoffs is 22, 12 points off. I mean, it's four wins, but we can't buy a win. As Brennan Keenan out for five days with a bruised shoulder. Must have missed him picking that up. And uh, Anthony Glennon, don't put pressure on yourself, mate. We're all just in a rut at the moment as Barrow next, who aren't good on paper, but are good in terms of winning. As we've got them, Salford, Colchester, Wimbledon, and Carlisle as well. It was, yes. And that's just before the window opens in the episode after, which of course we'll definitely have to get a lot done in. It is not the start I wished or imagined for this save, but to be fair, I'm not going to complain too much. We can only go up, and that's the way we've got to look at it from now on. As thank you guys for watching this episode right here. Plenty to build on, but of course you've got to be here for the journey. I'm going to keep on saying that until we actually get on it. As like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well. So you do not miss anything in the future. That has been it from me for today. And I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed. Take care of yourselves in a bit. And peace. Everything.